Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this time around we're going to talk about Amen CryptoMint by Mugler. This is one of the latest releases by uh, the Mugler house and as you can see this is a minty based fragrance. I just want to say from the start of this video that I really don't understand why people are comparing this fragrance to Ultra Zest. Besides uh, the fact they are manufactured by the same uh, designer house and uh, they share the same bottle design, I actually don't really find uh, too many resemblances between uh, these two fragrances. Besides the fact they are both flankers to the original Angel Man. Actually, I consider Crypto Mint to be, if you want, the best clone for Angel Man, as I consider that uh, the scent is basically 90% exactly the same, just like the original Angel Man, but with a little touch of peppermint. And talking about notes, what do we get with uh, Crypto Mint? So, in the opening we get um, peppermint and sage, in the heart we get geranium and in the base notes we get coffee, chocolate, tonka, vanilla and of course patchouli. What do I get with this fragrance on my skin? Well, I get an explosion of peppermint in the opening, uh, very soon followed after about 30 minutes um, by a very powerful patchouli note combined with chocolate, with tonka and vanilla. I don't really get the sage, I don't really get uh, the geranium and I also don't actually get a lot of coffee. They are present, I can um, feel them, but uh, somewhere behind, in the background, uh, somewhere far away if you want. Uh, the whole composition is focused, if you want, on uh, the patchouli, on the chocolate, the vanilla and the tonka with a slight hint of peppermint. The opening is very strong, it's stronger than Ultra Zest. It's a blast of peppermint, it's very powerful. So be very careful when you apply this fragrance on your skin, how much sprays you apply, because it may give you headaches. So a very strong opening with uh, the peppermint, it lasts, uh, I would say, around 30 minutes. And afterwards, the peppermint simply dissipates. It uh, goes in the background with um, the coffee, the geranium and also with the sage. It's still present, you're gonna feel the peppermint throughout uh, the whole wearing, but after the opening, after the 30 minutes mark, uh, the whole composition becomes basically this one. And uh, why I'm saying this? Mainly because of the patchouli, which is very strong, it's very powerful, it's very present, it's uh, making a statement if you want and also because of the chocolate combined with uh, the sweet vanilla and tonka beans. In terms of performance, I get actually really good performance just like every other Mugler fragrance that I own in my uh, collection. I usually get 8 plus hours on my skin with a very good projection in the first uh, three hours. Afterwards, after the three hour mark, uh, the fragrance becomes, um, if you want, closer to the skin, but it doesn't become a skin scent. It uh, simply lingers about, uh, I don't know, five to 10 centimeters above the skin. And about, uh, or around the seven hour mark, um, it comes closer to the skin. Very good projection in the three hours. Uh, good projection at the 5 hour mark and uh, afterwards it starts to uh, project less and less as it gets closer to the skin. Very good performance and it attracts a lot of compliments. Since I got it, 
I've got a lot of compliments from uh, from people. This is considered to be a fresh fragrance, but um, in my honest opinion, it's considered to be fresh mainly because of the peppermint. Uh, actually, in reality, crypto mint is nothing else but a um, gourmand type of fragrance, just like every other flanker in the Amen lineup, and that's why. Uh, because it shares a lot uh, of the notes with the original Amen and uh, the scent itself uh, resembles a lot with the original Amen I consider this to be, if you want, uh, the, the best flanker actually to, ori to the original Amen because Ultra Zest has uh, that uh, zesty orange that uh, you can feel throughout the whole wearing, but especially in the opening, and also it doesn't uh, become as the original Amen um, compared to this one. Also, pure Havan, it's a lot different. Uh, pure wood, pure tonka, pure coffee, and um, all the other flankers don't come close to the original Amen in terms of uh, scent like Crypto Mint does. So this for me is basically the original Amen but with a hint of Peppermint. And uh, it's very interesting, it's very refreshing as a uh, whole fragrance. It uh, gives you a chocolatey minty vibe I've seen a lot of people comparing this fragrance with uh, uh, chocolate uh, and whatnot. Also, um, it does its magic throughout, uh, let's say, warmer days. Although I consider that this fragrance could be worn throughout the whole year. And I think it would perform actually really great also in cold weather. Why? Mainly because, as I said, after the opening, this one becomes just like this one, at least on my skin. Probably other people will get a different reaction, but on my skin, this is 90% the original Amen. And compared to all the other flankers in this lineup, this is the closest one in terms of uh, smelling and notes, uh, like the original Amen. The only thing that it lacks to be like the original Amen is the performance because this one is actually a powerhouse compared with uh, every single other, other flanker that uh, appeared after it. Still, they all perform great. Uh, my biggest problem, as I said, was the fact that everyone was comparing this fragrance with uh, Ultra Zest and uh, furthermore I consider it to be very offensive that a lot of uh, reviewers said that uh, Crypto Mint is nothing else but a flanker to uh, Ultra Zest. And if uh, that would be the case, I wouldn't have gotten this fragrance and uh, added it to my collection. Um, it was a blind buy. Basically, I'm a huge Mugler fan. I own a lot of uh, fragrances from this house. And um, I blind bought it and I really hoped that it wouldn't be true what uh, everyone else said on uh, YouTube, on the internet, when uh, they said that this one is exactly like this one. I'm very happy that it uh, doesn't resemble with Ultra Zest. I'm very happy that uh, it is unique in its own way, although it resembles a lot with uh, the original Amen. But um, I'm very happy, uh, happy for buying this, uh, this fragrance and adding it to my collection. Very interesting. Um, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a Mugler, uh, let's say fan or a fanboy, whatever you, you want to call it. It's um, a very nice bottle with uh, very nice juice inside. Thank you for watching this video, see you in the next one, until then, as always, be safe, be good, peace.